Like, oh, you bought this little ass thing for $82, girl, no. This will change your life. I need to do this alone, so just stop calling me up. Just realize that we're done, don't come back. Hey, y'all, and welcome back to another video, you guys. I am so happy to be back on here and making more videos for you guys. I have not did this for so long, so it's kind of still new to me, you guys. But you know what today's video is about because y'all love these type of videos. And I'm not saying stink. But you might. But we have to go ahead and take care of this. You already know what type of video I am talking about today, you guys. Today's video is going to be another how to smell good all day video in 2021, baby. And today we have some of my new and bougie favorites, you guys. This one's going to be a little different. It's going to be the little bougie edition, you guys. So here are all of my latest perfumes you guys i have been really into more just grown woman scents and i kind of just wanted to expand what i already had in my apartment you guys because i don't know i just feel like you know i was becoming a new woman and i was just getting to a different stage in my life to where i feel like you know i didn't want to be like everybody else shopping at bath and body works so i decided to go ahead and start investing in some really good scents you guys but i can tell y'all what makes these so perfect for me and what I really like about them and how you can smell good too because you already know I don't hold anything back you know on this channel we like to give y'all free game I don't know what anybody else is doing but we get free game over here because why do we get keep why do we get keep it's so easy just to not be a little celebrity in a moment and just tell people what you're wearing I get that you want to keep it to yourself but it's not that big of a deal like more people in the world are gonna have these scents but anyways you already know if you are new here don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you know tune in to more videos y'all already know y'all gonna like them from this one by the way hello how do you not even know that by now you're gonna be smelling bougie you're gonna be smelling like how everybody wants to smell like i'm trying to tell y'all these are top tier scents and you don't want to miss out so i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all all of my favorites i'm gonna tell y'all the price and i'm gonna tell you how they smell and the vibe that they just give me you feel me so let's just go ahead and jump right in so my first one that i have right here you guys is the hermes twilly you guys and i really really love this one this one is my latest baby you guys i'm actually wearing this today and i just love how cute it looks it has the little twilly scarf on it this is the one ounce if i'm not mistaken i didn't get the really big one because we I, girl i had to go travel all the time for this one this one is a fan favorite i heard about this one from Aaliyah's face y'all and this just smells like girl it's hard to explain it smells like luxury but it also smells like that it just smells like that perfume you want to keep in a pink bag if you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> but it's super sweet you guys let me look on the website to make sure i'm giving y'all like more of a kind of image in your head of what this smells like this one by far is my favorite out of all of the ones that i have or at least my second favorite because i have two that kind of just go up and up this was 82 dollars, you guys you can get different sizes i just got the smaller one because at first you guys i really didn't know how i felt about it but when i took it home and i started wearing it more i'm like oh my goodness i love this this is my all-time favorite i see why everybody loves her she is a must-have if you don't already have this you guys and i'm telling y'all these may seem like they're a little bit expensive and it's like oh you bought this little ass thing for 82 dollars girl no this will change your life like when you walk past a man it's a totally different smell than coming from bath and body works than wearing some hermes okay you know what i mean it just tells that you a different type of woman you know that you about your business and the keynotes are pink berries rose and patchouli it's either rose or rose so yeah this one is really sweet but next you guys is this a valentino perfume you guys and i picked this up the same time that i picked up that hermes twilly and i fell in love with this before i even smelled the hermes twilly like literally literally i smelled this and i'm like oh sweet and it's kind of a little bit toasty i have to look at the notes because with these perfumes you guys they're not going to be your average perfumes these are all day perfumes um so these last a little longer than toilets but these are more grown women smells so don't be buying these thinking you trying to be bougie because it's the name on it you don't really like them because i'm trying to tell y'all these is a different type of smell they put you in a different type of element and these just have a more mature scent so for the valentino i have this in the 1.7 ounce and this retails for a hundred dollars you guys the keynotes in this are black currant jasmine grandiflorum and bourbon vanilla you guys and this is a warm floral fragrance as 
well you guys but when i smell this i don't really get florally but it is really really warm scented so this is a very good nighttime scent i like to wear this after i get out of the shower if i'm going over my boyfriend's house or if i'm getting out of the shower to go to a nice dinner so this is very great for nighttime and i do recommend this one this is my second favorite you guys and i think i do believe this is a men's scent but most of tom ford's um scents can be unisex so i know tom ford ombre leather smells really good and i know a lot of girls that also like to wear that one but this is metallic and this one is by tom ford you guys this is the 1.7 ounce i was in ulta one day trying to look for ombre leather because i seen leah lee if you guys know her she's a little younger but she's on youtube she where is that and i'm like mm, i wonder what that smells like because i've never smelled a unisex perfume cologne before but i've smelled some of replica stuff and if you guys don't know replica their jazz club is like a really really popular scent among a lot of people and um that is a men's scent but i guess you know you can call it unisex as well because women wear it as well as well but this one i really really love you guys it just smells so luxurious like it smells sweet but it all also smells like really like watery it's hard to explain like just imagine your man deodorant but mixed with yours if that makes sense so like if you were like um fresh scent deodorant or powder deodorant and the young man wear that you know that blue deodorant y'all know the blue and the green deodorant got the different smells the blue one though mixed together and just add a touch of money to it like this what this gives to me you guys and i just love the package and the packaging also sold it this was a little more expensive than ombre leather but i'm like girl it's so worth it it's so cute it smells so good you guys and i wear this for special occasions like when i bring this out when i bring this thing out you already know what's going on and i also have this one in the 1.7 you guys and this retails for 150 dollars you guys i know tom ford is a little expensive but this one is like the least expensive one at tom ford I'm telling y'all i was not meant to go on also that day and buy this but when i smelt it because i was smelling the tipping I was smelling the Tiffany and Co next to it. And when I seen this, I'm just like, I already took a whiff of it because it looks so pretty. And they got me. They got me good. Next, we're going to talk about a old time faithful, you guys. This is Flower Bond by Victor and Ralph. And I guess, you guys, this is something that's been around for such a long time. And I just got put on, you guys. This is actually one of the first perfumes I bought. I learned about this from... Aaliyah's face you guys and I just thought it was super duper pretty like you see the little flower on the side of it and the packaging just looks so luxurious and I just felt like man it's so sweet you guys but it's also so mature like it's soft and sweet but it's not overpowering if you know what I mean and I feel like if you wear this a lot of people will know like oh that's flower bomb because it's such a fan favorite it's such a cult favorite it's something that a lot of people have in their stash of perfume and this is in the 1.7 ounce you guys and this size goes for $115 you guys so this one I really would really recommend for starters you guys this is my first one like I said and it just really turned me on to other smells and I'm just like if this what this smells like I need to be going to try all the other stuff they got because this is selling me it's selling me it's burning holes in my pockets I don't even know what I'm gonna do after this but I just know I need to get more so the next two things I have you guys are just like the smaller items that I have you guys and this one is a rollerball and this one is like a travel spray. Now the reason I got these two super small is because the seven virtues I've never heard it before. The only place I've heard of this from is Kyra Amanique. She talks about this so much on her channel you guys and I'm like vanilla. I love vanilla. It's called Vanilla Woods. It has the scents and everything on it. It's supposed to be like a calmer you guys and it's for the soothing and the overwhelming worked so this smells when i say this is the best smell of vanilla perfume i've ever smelled in my life you guys this is a must have like i love rolling it on my arms at night and around my neck i just love smelling it when i'm sleeping i love waking up to it i love wearing it whatever my boyfriend really loves this one as well you guys and i use it so much and as you can see from the top if you can see it really well there's still so much in this so a little goes a long way so i'm actually glad i got this one this one's only like what 35 dollars 35 dollars the bigger one is like 100 and if i've never heard it before i didn't want to spend that much money knowing that 
I didn't know if I liked it or not. And the good thing about all of these bougie perfumes, you guys, you don't have to pay $115. They make smaller versions of all of these for like $30 to $35, $40 at Macy's, Ulta, Sephora, wherever you want to go. But this, I'm definitely going back to get the bigger bottle of. I'm kind of waiting until I go on my trip next month, you guys, because I just want to go ahead and buy it there because I feel like they're going to have more than just the Vanilla Woods there. The store I went to only had Vanilla Woods, so maybe they were just sold out. But yeah, the next thing that I got is this YSL. Libre you guys I've been hearing about YSL Libre from so many other people but at first I'm just like man I don't even know how to feel about that because I smelt a tester before when I was in Sephora and I'm just like I don't even know how I feel about that at all so I'm just gonna get the smaller bottle of it because I like it but it kind of just smells like money like if that makes sense like it smells good but it kind of smells like money like if you want you ever smell some fresh money and it's like it doesn't stink but it smells like money and it just smells very earthy that's what this is so you gotta be really in your bag to want to wear this and i'm glad i really only got a smaller size because i feel like if i do get this again i'll only get it in the one ounce it's probably like out of my top 10 this will be probably like a seven but i really do love this one as well you guys and i think i got this one for 30 dollars at sephora on my list you guys was what i got when i got that ysl libre this is the ysl black opium there's a couple of different ones but i got this one that looks like this and i got it because it smells like grapes to me it smells like florally grapes like if that makes sense it smells really really sweet and fun and i'm like oh i have to get this because if i'm gonna be getting all these mature scents baby i need to give me something that's still a little playful now this is something i really will recommend for a starter perfume as well i got this in the if i'm not mistaken this is a one ounce and this is really big for a one ounce i actually when i first got this i use it very much and it still has a lot in here so don't be thinking just because these is a one ounce but not worth the money because these really do last i'm telling y'all invest in yourself stop being cheap all the time okay we don't gotta always go to back to body words we don't always gotta smell like victoria's secret invest in yourself because at the end of the day you're gonna feel so much better about it like i have so many beautiful things i smell beautiful i live a beautiful life now this black opium for this size the one ounce retails for 76 dollars you guys and it is warm and spicy the scent type is warm and sweet gourmands the key notes are neon coffee orange blossom and dragon fuse so, and dragon fruit so you'll get a lot of that orange blossom and dragon fruit mixing together giving you just an ultimate just floral bot and the neon coffee gives it its warm scent so i have two more you guys so i hope y'all have not left i know the video is like a little talkative more than what y'all used to but i'm telling y'all this video is so worth it it's so good to always invest in yourself my next one is one of the first perfumes i bought as well you guys and this is the coco chanel mademoiselle you guys i really really love this this is good i would say for like a dinner a wedding just something light um this could be used as every day as well i really really love this is not too overpowering it's very subtle you guys so if you're looking for something that's overpowering i wouldn't say this is for you but it is just a good subtle smell it's very sweet and babyish to me if you guys know what i mean if you know how babies have that good smell to them you will know what this coco chanel mademoiselle is and this is the 1.7 ounce that i have and this retails for 108 dollars all these prices i have been giving y'all have come from sephora so if you go somewhere else they may be more expensive more cheaper just depends on where you go to and last but not least you guys i have the prada candy night now this perfume was so hard for me to just understand at first because literally if you look at the top it was just so weird to me i'm like do you take it off i took it off and then i realized like oh you press it at the top and it comes out and this one is the nice and they also just have a regular product candy but the product candy night is for like more of a mature nighttime scent like this is something you could wear to a late dinner um just whenever you want to feel super sexy you guys and i just felt like this was also a really sweet and florally perfume all of these you guys are all ode perfumes your girl like to let her shit last all day so yeah i got ode perfumes the toilet 
toilets are cheaper. So most of these are all in Eau de Parfums and toilets. The toilets will always be cheaper because they just don't sit on the skin as long. And for this Prada candy, I have the full size. The full size retails for $826. The fragrance family is warm and spicy and the scent type is also warm and sweet gourmands. The key notes are iris adelides and chocolate and musk. So you guys kind of have a picture of what I'm smelling like. I even showed y'all the good shit. You know, I wasn't really hiding nothing. Y'all know what I smell like now. So, you know, I have a pretty good collection. It's a baby starter collection, but it's getting there, you guys. And I hope to have more pretty great smelling scents in the future. If you like videos like this and you want more like this or more, even more bougie luxury videos, let me know. I got some stuff in store for y'all. I got a lot of hauls on the way. Don't forget to go ahead and leave a like on this video, comment and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.